welcome back for another video. Uh, the video this week is on the uh, ICOM IC9100. Uh, great piece of kit this. Um, it's a shack in a box. It's a, a, a trick of all trades. You can do satellite on it, HF, VHF, UHF. And if you put the optional board in it, you can do 23 centimeters and D star. Just coughing one second. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, yeah, we're just having a quick look around. Um, let's put this down a little bit. Doing this on the fly again. Yeah, so um, this is the power button, uh, your transmit button, and then the tuner. And uh, this here is, is for your meter settings and the antennas. You can have use it for changing the, the meter. Like it's on SWR at the moment, so if I change that, see how it's doing the antennas on the bottom one. Antennas one and two. If you long push it, it now does uh, the different settings. You know SWR power. I like to have it on SWR power. To be fair, I like to have it on that setting. But yeah, it can ch changes the antennas to one and two. Uh, let's put that back to one. I haven't got antennas in this at the moment, but. Uh, um I've just bought some bits of kit. I'm trying to gonna get some um uh a radio switcher. I'm uh, I'm, I'm I'm just in the uh, process of uh, uh sorting that out. Anyhow, on with it on with the uh with the uh, tutorial on this radio. Uh so yeah, so this is uh, your antennas and, and your meters changing. This is your noise reduction and you do you you press noise reduction you can see it going on the, off on the screen. Noise reduction, and you do it on the outer knob at the top. I usually have it around level three, as it is there at the moment. Um, the next button is your notch filter, so it's an automatic notch. If you hold it in, then you can do the manual notch with the, the controller on the top on the outer ring of this one here. Uh, but I just usually have it on auto notch to, to be fair. It's usually just somebody uh, when I'm chatting to somebody and somebody's um, um, tuning on the same frequency, I can, I can get rid of them. Um, so, go down to the next one. This is uh, your RF gain and this also your squelch. So, put a bit of volume on. You can use a squelch, which is, comes more into um, UHF, VHF. Turn that down again, and uh, and the same for the sub. Uh, you've got two, 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 two on this one at the moment. I've got forty meters and two meters, um, and this is the sub uh, volume and the sub squelch. Turn that back on the squelch again because I'm on two meters. As I said, I've, I've not got an antenna at the moment. Um, then you've got your, your menu button, so you've got. Um, uh, your scan, your memories, your SWR. Uh, if you press SWR, you can do a sweep like you can do with the uh, 7300. Um, so you, you just press it to whatever s steps you want to go. And then uh, obviously the key up and it, it'll show you SWR uh, bridge on here. Uh, let's get rid of that a minute. So this is your tone control and this is for scanning. Um, when you're scanning, say you're on HF and someone you're getting a, um, uh, interference, this will it'll, it'll decide what it is. If it's interference, and I'll keep on scanning. So if you go to, to memory one, this is your AGC, your G plex, your compression, transmit bandwidth, and scope. It's got a baby scope on here. Uh, let's just press it a minute. So when you press scope, it'll do. Uh, It'll do a sweep. I've got. I haven't got an antenna in this way. It's not sweep. It. I'll do a sweep across the band. So it's it's a rudimentary scope, but in its day, I, th I think uh, this radio came out in two thousand and ten. Uh, that yeah, it was a, a really good fe feature. Um, on the bottom here, we've got the mic gain, RF power, uh, CW pitch, uh, key speeder. And this is a double switch again, which is a preamp, or if you, if you hold it in, you get your attenuator. So you can push two preamps on and an attenuator on. Then your noise blanker and your vox and your braking uh, for CW. This is your monitor button. 
this is your call button and your GPS. It also has facilities in this to, on the back to uh, plug in the GPS. Just move it across a little bit now. Uh, let's, go, let's start from the top here. Uh, it does satellite this uh, uh, particular radio. Um, so yeah, if you press this, you're on satellite mode. It does your Doppler shift, etc., etc. So you can use it for moon bounce, uh, satellites, um, talking to the space station. An excellent piece of kit. Um, you've got your main and sub. So if you if you press that, you can change. So say I, I want to go on two meters. I've heard one of the lads on blah 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 blah. I just nip on there. Oh, I'll go back to HF. Um, it's, qu it's quite handy this radio as well. Um, we have local nets obviously on 2 meters, which is my local uh, frequency for the guys. And we have guys on 10 meters, so uh, I can put this to 10 meters to different different nets and I can monitor both nets. It's, it's all right for kicking back, say you're on the set, say you're kicking back. You can listen to your 2 meter uh, or, or 77s. The frequency you normally uh, listen to, but yeah, you can also listen on HF, so it's, it's okay for kicking back. Anyhow, back down the, again. So yeah, there's your sub, main button and your sub, and this is your sub. Uh, that's now put it on the the sub VFO. Uh, press it again. It goes back to the main. Uh, split operation A and B, FSX, and just your normal. Um, Your normal frequencies from from 160 to six meters, but this can actually put in um, 23 sevens. The board's not in this at the moment for 23 sevens, and the D star's not in this particular radio. Uh, I've just got this uh, all HF and six meters VHF UHF. Um, at one stage, I was going to get round and do it all, but I, I didn't do it. Right, let's move it across again. Uh, I've got other radials to do it. I've got a 9700, so I've got uh, 23.7s and I've got D Star in that particular radio. But anyway, uh, t uh, you pass band tuning, so you can tune whatever you want to do. You know, your band pass, you've got noise, you're trying to get another ch station out, so that's your pass band tuning. And if you're pressing, uh, pressing clear, clear that you can clear your pass band tuning here. So. You, this, you, you move this all over the show, whatever you, you get the right results for receive, and this is how you can clear it. This is your sub dial, so you can use uh, your, your uh, sub VFO, you can use this as a sub VFO, or you can do it for uh, memory channels. So you've got your memory channels in, and you can just move them backwards and forwards. I've got no memories in at the present moment in time either. I, I usually set it on the set frequencies, and that's me done. Uh, you've got your clarifier, uh, which I can call RIT. Uh, you've got receive and your TX, and then you, there's a clear button here as well. And this is the uh, the control for for uh, doing doing your shifts up or down uh, for your clarifier. Go back over here again. Um, let's move this back a little bit, actually. <laughs> Sorry about the shaky videos, you know, I just do things off chance. There's no scripts here or nothing, I just get on it. Uh, I'm just on it like a car bonnet. Uh, so, yeah, obviously you've got your, your VFO as well. And uh, just at the bottom here on your right-hand side, uh, you've got your speech and your lock. So, take the lock back off. So, yeah, it, it tells you what, what frequency you're on. Um, on the back of it, you've got two... Um, Antenna ports for HF. You've got your normal um, ground grounding, and you've got different connections as well. Like I said, you can put GPS on this. So you got to GP it. If you've got a GPS uh, unit, you can you can plug into the back. And you've got uh, two meters and seventy centimeters. And if you have the optional um, uh, twenty three seven centimeters on. Um, it's, it, it mine's uh, plugged out because it's, it's not there. You can actually fit that as well on the back. So that's the connections on the back. There's nothing to write on about. Uh, but yeah, what a cracking radio this is. Um, it's great on HF. 
I'm not, I've not had no complaints uh, with my audio. Uh, and I've got no complaints on the receive. Uh, the noise reduction is very good. Uh, like I said, I think it was 2010 this came out. So uh, don't don't quote me on, on that year. But I think it was 2010. So yeah, it's getting long in the tooth now. But uh, yeah, what a piece of kit. Um, you've got everything in one what one, one box and um i like the the, the seven i've got an icon uh, 7100 i like that for the same reason uh i don't think i'd ever get rid of that radio because it's a nice small unit but yeah this is a cracking piece of kit 100 watts on hf um 100 watts on two meters and i think it's 70 watts on uh, 70 centimeters and I'm not too sure about the 23.7. I think it's 20 watts on, on um, uh, 23.7s it, when you put the actual, actual board in. But, uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's a really nice radio, this. Um, I was thinking about getting rid of it, but I thought, no, it's, it's too nice. Um, like I said, I'm, 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 I'm going to do a switcher unit. So uh, I've got antennas in the 7700. So I'm going to put a, get a switcher unit to uh, go over here, and I've uh, just bought a load of PL five nines, and I'll get make some uh, patch leads, and uh, I can get uh, all the radios then uh, working in the shack. Um, and that's the seventy one hundred up here. So and that's the Sun um, there, the Sun SDR two Pro. Uh, and the linear on the on the end of course, but uh, yeah, this is uh, just a, a, a quick video today really and uh, I do like icon products and um, I run through it very quickly then um, uh, What what that what the actual buttons do on the front, but it's self-explanatory uh, got your phones your key and uh, obviously your microphone um, I have different mics on this as well. I just put hand mic at the moment. Uh, the HM HM uh, th uh, thirty six. So yeah, I've got hand mic on this at the moment. But uh, yeah, anyway, rabble rabble. Yeah, like I said, just a quick video. And uh, thanks for stopping by. And if you like the video, please like and subscribe. And uh, we'll catch you in the next one. GZL DTX seven three. John Cody DTX in the zone Radio sliding up his home Static whispers turn to gold Endless stories to be told Welcome to my YouTube show Go to DTX on the go